Welcome to another Unreal Foods tutorial. Today I want to talk about a set of skills that everybody should practice, especially beginners, amateurs, um, so that you can get these, uh, these skills down and it'll definitely improve your game. First one is cradling the ball. Which is just like that. And all you're doing is absorbing the, uh, the movement. So when the ball's heading one way, you're sort of traveling with the guy along with it, trying to catch it and then stop. Like that. Um, and that, you know, practice it on, on every rod. On the five bar, you might need to do it between the middle and the outside guy just so you have enough room. that the two bar is very important especially in singles you can sort of throw you know some zones out of whack like that by moving going back between a, you know setting up for a pull or a push and being ready to hit either one of those shots uh, the next one is tic tacking which in this one you're just meeting the ball and having it bounce just so it goes the other way and you can practice, you know, when you practice it, try either having the guy always go back, the middle one, so the ball goes in front of the guy, like that, or the other way, back, or you do a mix. And you can bounce between these two guys or the outside guys, however you want, just try to develop that control. And when you, when you have this, you know, this set of skills, then you don't worry about as soon as you get the ball, you can go and do whatever you shot you need to do, set up, etc. So practice. So whatever, you know, just, just practice up and down, practice on the two bar as well. And that's one of the things, you know, is when you're tic-tacking, you'll notice that at some point the ball might move back or might move forward. Try to use these guys with little rotations to uh, compensate for the movement. If the ball's moving too far back this way, try to hit the ball forward. So you guys rotate forward and that causes the ball to move forward. If the, if the ball is too far forward, then you hit the ball back. And that's how you kind of keep control of the ball. The next one is um, basically having a, doing a combination of the tic-tac and the cradle, which is what you used to set up essentially shot. So if I wanna set up for a pull shot, I go like this. I might tic-tac a little bit one time or, or just once have it bounce off this guy and then you cradle the ball. So you gotta get really good. As, you're really, as you get better at doing that, you waste less, less time moving the ball back and forth to set up a shot. And you can do that. That can be done here too. If you're setting up for a for, for a brush series, for example, you want to start from from a, a single from the same spot. You, go, you might move the ball, tic tac it a little bit, cradle it. to maybe uh you know whatever pass that you like but it's important to you'll you'll most of the time you'll see that you, you'll be doing a combination of a tic tac with maybe a, a cradle to stop the ball gently um and then the same thing over here is if you're setting up for a pull shot you bring the ball let it bounce or you're checking maybe if a pull kicks open you know you do that then you cradle the ball, same thing. If you wanna shoot a push shot, you're over here. Check the push kick, it's not there, you go back. You know, so you do whatever. Um, then the last skill is just pinning, back pinning or front pinning. So, um, you know, if you're here, I mean, one thing is it'll help you set up shots like, obviously like a front pin or a snake. So if you're here, 
you, there's a lot, lot of ways that you can pin the ball. You can hit the ball and, and hit the edge of the guy and, and have it go at an angle, an angle, then pin it. You can be right next to it, like that. So if I'm here, I either, if I want to pin, like I just go that way and then I can pin it, or I can go back, has to be at a little bit deeper angle like that, and then just pin. And, and practice, as you're pinning, bring the ball one way, pin with the other guys. Walk the ball. These balls are really slick. Pin it. Set up, and then now you're ready to do one of your shots. Same thing over here. If you're, if you like to start off a, a brush series off the back pin, then you gotta you gotta be able to quickly go to a, a pin by maybe tic tacking and and moving the ball back a little bit. And then pinning so that's a critical skill to to learn and then the same thing over here if you want to pin the ball you just hit the ball like that um, or if you want to pin it on, on the front you can go like that or you know you however you want to do it you just gently tap it So these um, these skills are are great to have um, all the way around, and I think they're very important. So you know, practice those. If you have any other questions about you know, if you're having problems with a particular skill, let me know, and I can do more tips. Uh, but you know, just try to practice, get really good at that, and uh, I can guarantee that uh, that it's going to improve your game. So please comment, subscribe, uh, and send me messages. Thank you.